move. Can I be honest with you, sir? All units clear the air. We're in pursuit of a hit and run. He's eastbound on Union. This is my first car chase. I've been waiting for this my whole life. my brother says. I was there. My father was not in his right mind when he wrote that second will, if he wrote it at all. Well, you know what? If the judge wants to rule against us, I guess we just have to appeal. Hmm, we have rich books. I don't remember ordering this. Hmm. Yeah, well, you know what? It's been two years. I'll probably die before I see a dime. Listen, Carrie, I gotta go. I gotta unpack. I've been here six weeks and my stuff is still in boxes. Bye. Adrian Monk, old buddy, old pal, old chump. Old buddy? What have you done with the real Captain Sotomayor? What do we have? A mail bomb, an ounce and a half of plastique with a magnesium charge. There were two triggers, a chemical detonator wired to the wrapping and a motion detector. So when you opened it and moved it, boom. Not hard to make. Crude and unpredictable, actually. Who's the victim? Amanda Babbage, 35 years old. She lived here alone. Nice house. It was a lot nicer two hours ago. Who the hell is that? Marion the librarian? It's Adrian Monk. He's consulting with us. But he's not consulting with us. Agent Grooms, you said you'd keep us local bumpkins in the loop. Give my man a couple of minutes, OK? What is it? A knot. I've never seen one tied quite like that, have you? No, I can't say that I have. Street? Yeah, that's part of the address. Well, but this is McAllister Avenue, not Street. Part of the return address. The return address is here. Bum was dressed incorrectly. Please forward. It's a change of address label. Did she just move in? That's right. She bought the house two months ago. Thanks. Glad we could help. We would have found it. Maybe. Private nurse, private room. This guy knows how to take a nap. He's the guy. Who's the guy? Him? Monk, he's a vegetable. He's not even a vegetable. He hopes one day to be a vegetable. Captain, listen. His sister moved two months ago. He is the only man in the world with a motive who wouldn't have known that. Also, look. Look at the knot. It's elegant. In my life, I've only seen one other knot like that. At the bomb. He's the guy. But Monk, he's been asleep since May. I know. The bomb was mailed three days ago. There's a postmark. I don't know how he did it. But he did it. Oh, hi. I'm Sharona Fleming, and this is Adrian Monk. We're helping the police investigate. He didn't wake up, did he? No. Oh, thank God. Come on in. Do you mind if we look around? Go right ahead. I'm just the maid. What is all this weird stuff? He was looking for a lawyer. That's no surprise. He was suing his whole family. No, no, no. These are criminal lawyers. Look at the name he circled. Scott Butterworth. I know that name. Suspended twice. He was a hack. Brian Babbage could afford any attorney in town. Why would, 
Why would anyone want to hire a bad lawyer? Is that blood? No, it's just ketchup. Uh, uh. It's something you don't see every day. Excuse me. We noticed the ketchup bottles. In the closet? Why would you do that? We were afraid to ask. Mr. Babbage hates questions. What are you doing? I always open the mail to pay the bills. Oh, my God. Don't open that. Hey. Brighton Babbage wanted to kill his brother and sister. He found a way to mail a bomb in May, but not have it be delivered until August. It was quite brilliant, really. Yes, it was. Although by doing so, he violated two federal laws and a score of postal regulations. Go on. When I recently saw some wallpaper peeling off a wall, it reminded me of the ketchup bottles in Brian Babbage's closet. They were glued to the ceiling. The glue was the key. There was no glue in the bomb. It wasn't part of the bomb. It was part of the delivery mechanism. Exactly. It was an experiment, a stress test. The ketchup bottles weighed about the same as the mail bombs. He was trying to find out how long they would stick before they fell off. I don't get it. Tamil. Four months ago, Brian Babbage went around the city late at night, cracked open the panel on a couple of these mailboxes. These locks are pretty simple to pick. I've talked to my supervisors, but they don't listen. Tamil. Don't make waves. Tamil. Everybody just wants to hit their 20 and get out. I can take it from here. Brian put the bombs in the mailboxes. But he didn't put them on the bottom with the rest of the mail. He glued them to the top. You see, it's a blind spot. Nobody ever looks up there. Why would they? Four months later, the glue dries up, the bomb falls down, and the next day, the mailman picks it up with the rest of the mail. It was like a time-released mail bomb. The US Post Office unwittingly became the messenger of evil. Who'd have thunk it? Well put, Tamil. And by the time they were delivered, Brian had a perfect alibi. He put himself in a coma? That's his alibi? That's the stupidest plan I ever heard of. He came this close to killing himself. I was stumped, too. But then I realized that wasn't his plan at all. No one would plan to be in a coma. His idea was to get himself arrested so he would be in jail when the bombs were delivered. That's why he tried to lead us on a car chase. He figured he'd be in jail for seven or eight months. He even picked out a terrible lawyer to make sure that he wouldn't get off. But he screwed up, and he hit a truck. And then a car, then another car. Brian Babbage stumbled, literally by accident, into the best alibi in the history of crime. I mean, where's your proof? Brian Babbage woke up this morning. I have arranged for all of us to pay him a little visit. This is going to be great. Not you. Mr. Babbage? Maria. Oh, you're awake. It's a miracle. I came as soon as I heard. Sorry about your sister and your brother. Thank you, Maria. The doctor just told me about them. I can't, I can't believe it. I won't stay long. I just wanted to welcome you back, and I brought your mail. What's, what's that? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry it's to a bomb. Open. Huh? It's a bomb! Get down! Get down! I can't help but wonder what made you think that was a bomb, Mr. Babbage. Brian Babbage, good morning. You're under arrest for the murder of your sister, Amanda. It's jungle out there. Disorder and confusion everywhere. No one seems to care. Well, I do. Hey, who's in charge here? It's jungle out there.